Hey guys, I don't know if you noticed, but the content on my channel recently has been a little bit serious. One serious video after another, so I thought today I'd do something a little more lighthearted, because I am capable of having fun. Now if you follow me on Twitter or Tumblr, then you might know that I have a little bit of an obsession with a game called Overwatch. For those of you who don't know, Overwatch is a team-based 6v6 first-person shooter game developed by Blizzard, who are the company behind World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm, Diablo, it's been out for about a year and since it's released it has become my favourite game. I could talk for hours and hours and hours about this game. I just love it so much. I love playing it, I love reading about it, I love looking at art, the characters, I love watching people play it. I'm heavily involved in the community on YouTube and on Twitch and on Tumblr. I just absolutely love it so much. It's so strange that for so long I didn't play any FPS games and then my two most recent favourite games are Splatoon and Overwatch. I just like a gimmicky FPS. Overwatch is fun and colourful and there's so many different characters and everyone's unique, but that's not what today's video is about. I have been playing Overwatch since it was released on PS4 in the UK. So while I was at home I played it on PS4. I made a variety of characters, mostly like Genji and Tracer, so I really liked how fast they were. Then when I went to uni I was without my favourite game. So I asked my parents to get it for me for PC for my birthday. And so since November, I've been playing it on PC on my laptop. My laptop has terrible specs. Uni Wi-Fi is so laggy. So when I started playing Overwatch here, I ended up maining a lot of support heroes. And now I am a support main. My three most played characters are Mercy, Lucio, and Symmetra. I actually played a lot of Symmetra when I had it on PS4 because I just absolutely adored her character. And I got really, really good with her. And I gave Lucio a go after Lucio Ball. But I never really got on with Mercy on PS4. But on PC, she's just a lot easier to handle and I have a a lot of hours on her now. And although I absolutely love my support bays and I love playing them, there's a lot of problems that come with playing a support, especially in the competitive scene. I'm really not very high up in the competitive scene in Overwatch, I think the highest I got was like nearly gold, but again it's because like this is my first ever proper PC game that I've ever played, so obviously I'm not going to be the best, but I try my hardest and I have fun and that's what matters. But the thing about being not so great is you enter ELO hell. Supports often get a lot of shit anyway just in this game, but in ELO hell, Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so today I'm going to talk about shit support mains have to deal with in Overwatch. Recently Lucio got a buff where his aura healing is a smaller aura and is higher healing per second. So he is more of a main healer type hero, but I received this kind of comment when he was more of a secondary healer and his aura healing was way harder to control. I was being secondary healer on a team. Someone in chat just kept being like, um, Lucio, can you heal me please? And I was just like, it's not direct directional healing is Sonora. You got if you want healing you gotta come over here. I can't heal you from the other side of the map. You gotta come here. A lot of the time when I'm playing in these games, people will insta lock DPS and I will go healer because I know they're gonna need a healer and then I will politely ask in the chat, hey guys, can we get a tank maybe? That would be nice. Cool. Tanks are just necessary, like otherwise they wouldn't be a class in the game. Responses I often get are either lol, STFU, nice, <laughs> or why don't you go tank? I don't play tank, I'm terrible at tank, do you want us to lose? Also, if I, the only healer, go tank, then we won't have a healer. And to be honest, I'd rather have a team with no tank but a healer than a team with a tank and no healer. A lot of the time when you're playing, you'll have a really, really, really close map. You'll be this close away from winning and then just lose it at the last second, but it'll still have been a really good game. And this has happened to me a few times where I've been solo healing an entire team. We lose, but only by a little bit. And even in one case, I got play of the match even though I was on the losing team as Mercy. It's hard enough to get play of the match as Mercy when you're on the winning team. But after all of this, where I was trying my very hardest, trying to keep this team alive, what's everyone's first response at the end of the game? Blame the healer. Noob healer. Would have been nice to get some heals. I was trying. Jesus Christ. Sometimes I wish these DPS mains would just try being healer for a day and see what it's like. Like I said, I played a lot of Symmetra and at the time, her character kind of worked in a very different way to how it works now and so I got really good with her before her buff. And so when her buff came in, I was kind of just even better at her than I already was. So I'm pretty confident. I'll often pick her on defense and map like Hollywood and King's Row just because I know how she works on those maps. And if I do pick her on a combination map, I'll often say, if they cap the first point, I'll switch to healer. But still, you get people moaning that you've picked Symmetra, because people still don't think she's a viable hero on, like, any point whatsoever. <laughs> I swear, every single game where I play Symmetra, I get, um, can you switch off of Symmetra, please? Or, sim throwing. If I was throwing, you wouldn't know it. 
I just get really annoyed because I am actually really good with Symmetra. Like most of the time they tell me to switch off, I've got gold damage and gold eliminations as a support hero. It's not me who needs to step up their game. And like I said, I play a lot of Mercy, and one of her abilities is Guardian Angel, where you can fly to your teammates across the map if you've got them in line of sight. And the amount of times I've been yelled at by people who are saying, why didn't you heal me? It's because I couldn't see you. Get in my line of sight and I will heal you. And the worst one is if you've been knocked off the edge as Mercy, you kind of do this like, graceful fall to your death, where there's a slight chance that you could be saved if one of your teammates comes to the edge. But no, they just let you die falling off the edge and then go, why didn't you heal me? I wonder. Final thing is when people don't protect their healers. Now Mercy is a great character. She has a lot of mobility and she has some great abilities. But one of her weaknesses is that she's very, very easy to kill. She has 200 health. So if you don't protect your healer, they're gonna die. People just don't protect their healers. And then they moan when they don't get healed or they don't get rezzed. Like, how am I meant to heal you when I'm dead? I can't resurrect myself. Protect your healers and you'll have more fun, please. Despite the fact this game drives me mad a lot of the time and the amount of times I've just had to stop playing because people have been so awful, I still love it with all my heart. And I just hope that if you play, maybe take some tips from this because I don't want to be bitter. I just love my support. I hope you like this video. Sorry if you don't like gaming or Overwatch. You've just had to listen to me ramble. I mean, you could have just left. You probably have just left. See you next time. Bye.